Welcome to my half year evaluation report. We're gonna get into the raw numbers of what I've been able to accomplish after putting in half a year's worth of my life into studying Japanese. Okay, so right off the bat, I wanna talk about time put in. Now, up to this point, I've put in 182 days, 470 hours into the Japanese language, two hours and 35 minutes spent per day. You know, the really funny thing is, if you look at my, if you look at my life in terms of a percentage, you got 24 hours in a day. For the past 182 days, half year of studying Japanese, I've dedicated 9.3% of my life to studying Japanese. Pretty weird to think about. Now this is always really tricky to figure out how many words do I actually know it. Kind of from my previous evaluation report and what I feel in terms of what I can understand, comprehend, and, and say, and, and use the knowledge that I have, I'm probably at around 700 vocabulary words under my belt. In terms of alphabets, hiragana, katakana, and kanji, I read so much that hiragana became very easy. In fact, if I, if I read Japanese using the English alphabet, romaji, it hurts my eyes. I literally can't look at romaji. Katakana is a little bit difficult. I don't see katakana very often, so when I do see it, I have to remind myself, okay, what is that character? But in general, katakana has become fairly easy as well. Hiragana definitely is the stronger of the two. If you guys remember, I learned 80 different kanji in month three, learned how to read and write and recognize. And then over the course of these past three months, I've forgotten how to write the kanji. And I can't read the kanji very well, unless it's with a word, but I can recognize the kanji for sure. I'm not sitting at 80 because I've been in Japan and I see kanji everywhere. I'm probably sitting more at like 100, maybe 120 different kanji, which is pretty cool, but I haven't spent time studying kanji at all. So for me to increase and progress in kanji is kind of like, wow, can't believe I actually learned more kanji without even trying. But that happens when you're in Japan and, and you're watching a lot of movies, you're gonna see different kanji and over and over and you're gonna figure out how it's read when you learn the word. When it comes to my listening, I am not very good. When I watch children's shows, I can understand. When I listen to a native speaker read a children's book to me very slow, their pace is enough for me to understand the majority of the content, 50% or so. I don't, I don't really know how much I can comprehend, but I can get the general idea and I understand a lot of words. So comprehension is pretty easy when I'm reading and listening to content that is made for children. But when I listen to content made for native people, an anime, a movie, a drama, I can't really understand or comprehend anything. And, and that doesn't mean I don't know what they're saying. I can, I can understand a word here or there, but the general idea, they're speaking so fast that I can't get the general idea. Maybe one or two sentences I can get a word or two in, but that's about it, and that's normal. Only 470 hours, and I haven't listened at all, really. Only music and a couple shows here and there. I've been reading more. My listening naturally isn't very good, which is okay. It'll get better over time. I will say one thing that I did see a lot of progress in, a moment of progress for my listening, I can parse between when one word begins and one word ends. Before, I couldn't do that. It all sounded like jumble. But now, I can understand when they're saying this word and when they're saying that word. And if they say a word I don't know, then I can pick it out and say, oh, they said a word I didn't know. I try not to speak. I know I'm in Japan, so I have to speak sometimes, but I really do try not to speak. I don't want to create any bad habits. I don't try and say things that I don't know how to say. I translate everything from English to Japanese, so I'm definitely speaking horrible Japanese. I'm not at all talking like a native. Okay, let's look at my language model. So you guys know that I am doing this language model and trying to figure out my ability. Please look at my third month evaluation report. That will give you all the background information on where I'm getting this information from. But my language model right now, you can see a picture of it right here. Gave myself a two for comprehension, a 1.5 for grammar, and then a one for everything else. If you compare my model from my third month evaluation report, you can definitely see that I've made a little progress and I'm happy with that. Not too much progress and I don't think it'll be more progress in my ninth month evaluation report, not too much but it will continue to grow and that's a good thing. If you compare my ability now to the native level ability, uh, you can kind of see I have a long ways to go. What can I really do in the Japanese language after putting in 470 hours? At this point in time, reading has become a lot easier because I've spent a lot of time reading. I'm not at the stage where I can comfortably listen to native people speak and understand. Okay, that's it for the evaluation report. I hope I kept it pretty short. Thank you guys for watching. I will be shooting the seventh month update next week, so stay tuned for that.